Welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where we're doing something called smothered steak, where it just seems to be a piece of meat thrown in a pot, cooked for a very long time, with a bunch of vegetables and some sort of liquid on top of it. Almost like a stew, only you have one piece of meat. There isn't much to this, so let's stop beating around the bush and do smothered steak on this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is prepare the pot. This isn't in the instructions, but I'm adding a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of the pan because I don't want this piece of meat just sitting on the bottom of this pan for the one and a half to two hours the recipe calls for. So I threw it on the bottom, coated it a little bit, and then got myself one and a half pounds of bottom round steak. Salt to taste, like the recipe says, and then just plop it in the bottom of the pot. Simple as that. Next, you will need to don your onion protection goggles because you need to cut up three good sized onions, whatever you think three good sized onions are. Chop all those up, throw them right on top of the meat. Next, get yourself some three good sized peppers and do the same exact thing. Next, the recipe calls for pouring one large can of tomatoes over the top and then putting it on the stove or in the oven for one and a half to two hours. The recipe did not list a temperature at all, so I decided to go with 350. And in the oven I went with this one. And voila! Smothered steak. What's it taste like? It's basically a pot roast. I mean, there's very little in the way of seasoning here, so it came out a bit sweet. The meat was okay, but the real winner here was the stewed vegetables, which I actually added a little bit more seasoning to. I made some shakshuska with it in the morning. That's the real winner out of all of this. But would I recommend this? You need to add some more seasoning to this. And it's not bad. But that's going to do it for this week on Grandma's Cookbook. Thank you all for watching. Come back next week when we cook something else out of this book. See you then.